Hey friends, welcome to Moments with Miss Holly. I am so excited to be back with you tonight and I am super stoked that you are joining me. So I want to share with you just a few things that are going to happen over the next few weeks during Moments with Miss Holly. Holly. Uh, we have a special guest and they are going to share with us the importance of worship and talk about how important it is to use our voices to praise and worship God. And after we're done with uh, singing a few songs and hearing from them, I'm going to share a brief Bible lesson and then we will conclude our evening. So I hope that you stick around and I hope that you're ready for tonight. Don't forget to grab your Bibles. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? Whoa, you're ready. Let's go. 1 John 5, 3. This is love for God, to obey His commands. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the trees are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My name's Luke. I'm glad you're here today. Are you glad to be here? Yeah! Alright, today we're going to talk about music and singing and how God wants to hear your voice. But before we get started, I got a little friend. His name is Clef, and he's going to help us with our class today. Let's see. You guys see him? Clef! Oh, Clef! You know what? I think I need your help so he can come out on the stage and help us. So say it with me. Clef! Clef! Where are you? Wait, I think I see him. Wait, oh, oh, there he is. What's up, man? Hey, class, say hi to the kids. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, man, I'm so glad you're here today. Before we get started, let's hey, find hey, out a little... Is your name Luke? Uh, yeah, my name's Luke. Luke, Luke, I am your father. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a good one, Clef. It's like I've never heard that before. <laughs> before we get going... Clef, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Chicago. You came all the way here to be with us from Chicago? Yep. It's, that, o, it's over there somewhere. It's over there somewhere. That is awesome. And what do you like to do for fun, Clef? I like pizza. I like to sing. You like to sing? I like to sing, too. Let's say, do you kids like to sing out there? Yeah. Oh, man, that's awesome. You know what? We're going to learn all about music. We're going to learn about notes and singing and harmony and how it all comes together. And ultimately, we're going to learn that God wants to hear your voice. You know that, Clef? God wants to hear your voice. Wait, my voice? Yes, he wants to hear your voice. What about yours? He wants to hear my voice 
and he wants to hear their voices out there. He wants to hear your voice. That's right. And here's the thing. God gave each one of us an instrument. He gave us an instrument that sounds amazing. And so when we go to church, God wants to hear us sing, right? He wants us to use the instrument that he gave us so we can praise him in song. Does that sound like fun, Clef? So that is awesome. Clef and I are going to be here with you, and we can't wait to learn how God wants to hear our voice in worship. Speak to one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. So now, let's talk about shape note singing. Shape notes? You mean like squares? Yeah. Triangles? Yeah. And unicorns? Yeah. Oh, not unicorns, uh -huh. Clef. Let's talk about shape notes and how they help us learn how to sing. Shape notes were invented way back in the 1880s to teach people to sing. Wow, I was like four back then. You were four? Yep. I don't think so, Clef. <laughs> so anyway, shape notes were developed to teach people just like us, everyday people, how to sing songs, especially how to sing songs in church. So what are shape notes? Well, let's see. You know how you use words to read a book? You do like to read, right, Clef? If it's got pictures, I, do. I love reading. <laughs> we use words to read a book. Well, the shapes in music tell us what notes to sing. Okay, so shapes represent a... Pizza. No, Clef, they don't represent a pizza. You see, the shapes represent a... An animal. Clef, no. See, shapes represent a sound. Can you say that with me? Shapes represent a... Sound. Man, that is so cool. All right, so let's look and see... Uh, what these shapes actually look like. So the first note in the scale is do, and it is a triangle. Hey, hey, pizza's a triangle. Pizza is a triangle, but the first note in our shape note scale is do. Hey, and well, it is, pizzas are made of dough. Pizza is made of dough, but the first note is do. Can you guys say, do is the triangle? Do is the triangle. Yeah, you got it, you got it. All right, so let's look at the second note. Hmm, what does that second note look like to you there, uh... It kind of looks like a coffee cup to me. It, uh, it kind of does look like a coffee cup. You see that? The name of the second note is Ray. My neighbor's Ray in Chicago. It, your neighbor may very well be Ray. Ray drinks coffee. Ray does drink coffee. So that's how we can remember it, right? The second note is Ray. Ray. All right, let's look at the third note. Let's see. To me, that kind of looks like, uh, what does it look like to you? Kind of like a diamond. It does look like a diamond. So the third note in the scale looks like a diamond, and the name of this note is me. I'm not a diamond. No, 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 no. The name of the note is me. But, I, wait, wait, I thought you were... Luke. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so the third note, it looks like the diamond, and the name of the third note is me. Can you guys say me? Me. Okay, it's time for the fourth note. Here it is right here. Oh, wait, wait, that, that looks like a paper football. Back in 82, if coach would have put me in, we could have taken state. I would have kicked that football far over those mountains. <laughs> oh, man. Clev, you are so funny. It's funny that you would say that because that's actually the name of this note. It's called fa. No, no, no I would have kicked it far. No, I, I know you would have kicked it far, but the name of the note is fa. Can everybody oh. say fa? Fa. So the next note is so. So what? No, 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 no. The, the next note is so. The name of the note is so. And you see, so is a circle. So. So. What? How are, how are you going to remember that? Hmm. Oh, I know, I know. Well, when you say so, your mouth makes a circle. So. He's right. So makes a circle. So the fifth note in the scale is so. Everybody say so. So. Yeah. All right. You know what else has a circle? What, Clef? Tires. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say pizza. Oh, man. Okay, so we're moving on. Okay, so the next note in the scale is la. And it looks like a square. Fa la 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 la. What made you think of that, Clef? Well, I love Christmas and all my presents come in boxes. So la is a square and it reminds us of the boxes we get at Christmas. Everybody say la. La. Okay, now for the last note in the scale. The last note is T, and I love this note because it looks like an ice cream cone. I love ice cream! Me too! What's your favorite flavor? I like pistachio, 
but my Aunt Mildred, she always gets green tea flavored, and it's ugh, disgusting. Green tea ice cream, ugh. But that's a great way to remember the last note in our scale is tea. Can everybody say tea? Tea. All right, are you ready for the lightning round? When I threw the shape up there, you tell me what the name is. Ready? Ray. Ray. La. La. Do. Do. T. T. Fa. Fa. So. So. Me. Me. Do. Do. T. T. Ray. Ray. Fa. Fa. La. La. Me. Me. So. So. Speak to one another with psalms and hymns and the spiritual songs. All I do, I do is, is ask, ask for your forgiveness. forgiveness. You've already made me reply. reply. My heart is since he came, my heart, heart is filled with gladness. gladness. Never, I, I won't ever have, have to die. To die. I won't have to All I, I do, do is ask, ask for your forgiveness. forgiveness. You've already, already made, made reply. reply. My heart is since he came, came, my heart is filled with gladness. I won't ever have to die. I was traveling on my own. I thought I was making it fine But I never had the lasting joy That brought true peace of mind Then I found out that His one and only Came here to set me free Now I'm His child and I'm never lonely Since He has rescued me all I do is ask for your forgiveness You've already made reply Since he came, my heart is filled with gladness I won't ever have to die All I do is ask for your forgiveness You've already made reply Since he came, my heart is filled with gladness I won't ever have to die Thank you, Mr. Luke and Cliff. I love it. I love learning about worship and I love singing those songs and I love it when we can all sing together. So if you were paying attention to Sunday's lesson, whether you were at church or online, our lesson on Sunday talked about worry. And what is worry? Well, worry is sometimes that thing that we like to do where we think about something over and over and it really makes us kind of uncomfortable and sometimes we can be afraid. And what are some things that you worry about? Well, do you ever worry about being in the dark? You know, the dark, the complete dark can be scary if you're not careful because we can't see anything. And maybe you're afraid that if you're in the dark, you're gonna step on a toy. Maybe you're gonna bump your toe. You never know. And so it's even silly, but some adults are afraid of the dark. And what happens if you were to have a glow stick and you could see just a little bit, would that help? Probably, but what if you had your mom and dad in there with you? Would you feel safe and secure? I know I would, and that is how our God wants us to feel when we are worried, because we are not to have the spirit of fear, but the spirit of trust in Jesus. So tonight, our lesson is going to come from Matthew chapter six. And as always, when we're done, go back and read this chapter together and talk about it as a family, because we know that families that study the Bible together, that pray together, are going to be strong together. And guys, there's nothing more than we need right now than to be strong families. All right, so here we go. Are you ready? 
Matthew chapter 6, and we're going to do verse 25 in chapter 26. It says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is life not more important than the food and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single day to your life? You know, do you think the birds that fly around, do you think that they worry about what color their feathers are? I don't think so. Do you think that they worry about what tree they're going to land on? No. And guess what? God takes care of the birds. And what he's saying here is that if he takes care of the birds, you are so much more valuable than that. And he is always always going to be faithful to you and take care of you. All right, guys, thank you for joining us tonight. Remember to check us out Sunday morning on our Comanche Trail Kids Facebook Live. We've had some fun lessons, and I cannot wait for this week and to see you. See you next week. Bye.